received the full list of missing supplies, sir. Hmm. They weren't here for that long, but they managed to steal quite a bit. It's impressive, certainly. Huh? But an operation like this would have been impossible without an inside man. Of course, the resistance. We need extra rope on the starboard side. Check the landing crafts. Get those engines ready to run. That should be all the supplies loaded, sir. We're just about done with refueling, too. It would appear we're almost ready for the grand finale. Do you think Squad E will be back in time for departure? It certainly would be a problem if they missed the boat. From here on out, we'll be racing against time itself. I can understand wanting to thank the Resistance. We wouldn't have these supplies without them. But Operation Cygnus is our greatest priority. I do hope Mr. Wallace is aware of that. But there's still the issue with our main reactor. Brian, would you mind accompanying me for a moment? Every day I see you wandering around down here. Thought you'd taken root in the bridge. <laughs> You're as chipper as always, Andre. It's nice to see you in person once in a while. Orders over the intercom just aren't the same. So, what's the occasion? I reckon you didn't come all the way down here just to talk to an old grease monkey. Mm. I have business in the Forbidden Sector. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'll have to... Yeah, I figured. The main reactor hasn't made a peep since that mess. Come on, Roland. I know there's some kind of secret with that reactor. Can't you let me in on it? I'm sorry, old friend. I'm afraid that's not something I can do, even for you. Good. Fine, fine. I guess it's up to you to get that thing working again, huh? Well, shall we? Oh. The reactor's still empty. Not much time left now. I understand, sir. I'll bring it back at once. No. It won't fully activate unless it's here of its own free will. That's what all the briefings said. Then... It'll have to return willingly. Until then, we wait. Do you think it will return, sir? Will it come back for us? <sighs> such a beautiful city before all this. This neighborhood resisted occupation the hardest. When the Imperials came, they destroyed everything. I can see Imperial patrols all over the place. See that building next to the central plaza? Yeah? That's where General Manuel is being held captive. He's an important contact we had within the Empire. He's been accused of cooperating with the Resistance. They've taken him in for questioning. Was it because of the supplies we took in that op earlier? Yes, but they won't find any evidence. He's an influential figure in the Empire. Ordinarily, he'd be questioned for a day or two, then acquitted. But this time we got unlucky. The one leading the investigation is Major Burke. A real witch hunter. Practically a one-man inquisition. He's held a grudge against Manuel for a while now. 
The General interfered with one investigation too many. He'd fabricate whatever evidence he needed if it would push Manuel towards a death sentence. Sounds like a real charmer. Why don't we just take out all the soldiers around here? That'd be quicker, right? No. Even if we liberated the city, the Imperials would be here in days to take it back, with more troops than ever. If that happened, I don't know if the Resistance could hold them off on their own. We work in the shadows. We don't have the raw power to fight the Imperial Army head-on. That's why we're putting all our eggs in your basket. I know we're pushing the responsibility on you, but... That's not true at all. You're fighting the Empire just like us. Take pride in that. Thank you. Truth be told, I've got a baby on the way. My wife is due this spring. That's why I want this war over before then. That's why I'm fighting beside you. If our baby remembers hearing anything from these years, I want it to be birdsong, not gunfire. Sounds like a good future to me. And we'll be the ones to make it happen. Riley, we need to talk about how much ammo you're using. Oh, it's a beauty to behold, right? Everyone says they love it. Yeah, about that. Mortars can make pretty fireworks, but it's a little... Extreme. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? I may not have Deadeye Kai's accuracy, but I'm not wasting my ammo willy-nilly. Yeah, but if you don't plan ahead, you'll run out of ammunition at the worst possible moment. Then I'll just take someone else's ammo. By force, if I have to. Sheesh, you really did grow up in the States. If only you could call in a supply drop. It'd be perfect for when you need a little extra firepower. There has to be some way to make it work. Ammo shortages are a real threat to the guys on the front lines. The front lines? Hmm? Aw, oh, Kai. Are you worried about Raz? No. <laughs> Alright, I'll think it over. For dear sweet Razzie. Thank goodness. A secure ammo supply route. Oh, I mean... For the record, I'm happy for everyone, not just Raz. Welcome, Captain Wallace. Let's begin the training course. <laughs> so, who will it be today? are getting even better. You've been cleared to learn a new order. Done for the day? Come back whenever you're ready for more. Oh, hey Claude. What are we building today? Done, Claude. What do you think? Cool, right? All done, Claude. Whoa, it turned out great. Hey, let me snap a quick picture before you run off with it. All 
Well done. Wow, a masterpiece! Almost seems like a shame to use it. Wow! Wow! Done already? Drop by whenever and we'll see what else we can cook up. Here's our plan to rescue General Manuel. Moving out. 
Find placement. That concludes the briefing. Now hop to it, Claude. General Manuel is being held at the town hall. Our allies in the resistance need us to rescue him. Our objective is City Hall. You can see the Empire's made it a command post. A direct route would be risky. But my allies have infiltrated parts of this city. If you can find them, they can help you. Unfortunately, even I don't know exactly where they are. Keep an eye out for a blue rose. If you see that, it means our comrades are nearby. I'm counting on you. This is an order. Defensive formation! Brace for enemy attack! Okay, moving out! Calm down! We need suppressive fire! Ne there they are! Right there! I see. They're good. Enemy sighted! They're in range! There they are! There they are! Looks like this! My turn. In the honor of Squad F, F I swear vengeance! I got your back. Federation officer. Lead the way. I will not fall here. Rebel scum! I'll kill them! Let's break through their line! There! Found them! There! Keep your legs moving. Don't want frostbite setting in. There! Stay Please here. You. Understood. Stay I'll here. Split off Don't here. do anything stupid. There. They've got you in their sight! Now advancing. Easy. I see. They're good. Let's determine our chances. That result checks out. No! Let's determine our chances.
Shall we begin? I have bullets to spare. That result checks out. All allies have been taken out! Officer, I will not fall here. Keep going. We're fine. Minimal damage. Got this. Found him. Found him. If the cold doesn't get you, I will. Commencing counterattack. Both. Need lead. We have to save the general. Out. 
of success, 100%. Determine our chances. They're looking for the general. First one to pop up. How's this? Perfectly calculated. Target destroyed. Good work. For victory. Here I come. <laughs> How was that? 
pretty good. We'll provide support too. Found them. Don't get Federation me. officer. I will not fall. determine our chances. How's this? That result checks out. I should have expected as much from you. This is an order. Defensive formation. Brace for enemy attack! We begin. Perfectly calculated. I see. Now advancing. Target confirmed. Enemy sighted. Wait for the right moment, then fire! Watch my back. Got it. Lead the way. Watch my back. I'll follow. <laughs> Don't let up the attack. Commencing counterattack. Follow my lead. You ain't going nowhere. Heat led. I'll make sure the engines don't freeze over. Ha! <laughs> Easy. All allies have been taken out. 
Could split up here. I see. Good luck. Watch out! They're on to you! Keep firing! Moving out! Calm down! We need some pressure! Here I come! A true display of skill. They're good. Federation officer. I will not fall here. Damn it, we're being pushed back. Okay, moving out. Rebel scum! I'll kill them! Fire! Our allies have been taken out! Advancing. We know you're there. You can't hide for long. I got this. Watch! Federation officer, I will not fall here. No dodging 
this shot. Here I come! The trend told us. A true display of skill. Great job! I knew you had it in you. Watch your back. Stop at nothing! We're being pushed back! We need backup! Is that a blue rose on the wall? That must be the sign Mika was talking about. Been waiting for you. Mika's already told us the situation. Did you see the barricade blocking the way to City Hall? You could probably pass through if you destroyed it. But that's what the Imperials are counting on. They're waiting right behind it to ambush you. If you pass through this house, though, you might be able to catch them off guard. So we can use this house as a secret passage. We get to ambush the ambush, huh? Sounds like fun. Come on, Claude, let's get him. Yeah, it's worth a shot. We'll be moving through here, then. This is all we can do for now. Please. Save the general. We need him to keep fighting back against the Empire. Look at him shiver! First one to pop up gets their brains blown out! There! Got this. Found it. He led. Gun and all oh, right. Got the face. Very nice. Keep firing. Commencing counter. Let's determine our chances. Let's do this! <laughs> <laughs> 
own damn fault. Great job. I knew you had it in you. so much thank you comrade you saved our future no you were the ones that saved us those supplies kept us going if we hadn't gotten those I don't even want to think about it oh but we should probably save the celebrations until after the general's safe oh, of course come on let's go performance in the previous battle was exemplary. Please accept this reward from headquarters. <sighs> Guess that's a wrap. All the resistance members made it out safe as well. General? The interrogation was rough on him, but it's nothing life-threatening. He's safe in the car. We'll take him to our headquarters. I think it's time he joined us as our leader. I see. Glad to hear it. We can handle the rest from here. You'd better get going. You're all in a hurry, aren't you? Yeah. We need to end this war before springtime, remember? It's a promise, then. My baby's counting on me. Ah, right. You should know. If it's a boy, I plan on naming him Claude. What? I, I, uh, I don't know if I really deserve to have someone named after me. He's got a point. You don't want him turning out to be a stick in the mud like this guy. Well, if he's a stick in the mud, he'll be a tough one. And that's good enough for me. Goodbye, everyone. I wish you all the best of luck. That car, huh? Sniper! Damn it! They're after the general! Huh? <laughs> 
I need to move. <laughs> Come on. These resistance guys are all just civilians, huh? No regulations to follow. No medals for their heroes. But if anyone's a hero, it was him. He ran on his own faith. We'd never have rescued the general without him. <laughs> but he had a reason to survive. You all heard him. How could he leave his baby behind? He lived a life to be proud of. He never turned away from doing the right thing. Not even when it meant death. One more reason we have to stop the Empire. We made him a promise. Yeah. Sergio, what do I do with all this cotton? Could you roll them up into little pieces? About the size of a fingertip. I soak them in alcohol for disinfecting. Okay. Hmm? <laughs> Those are a bit too small, sweetie. They'll have to be a little bigger than this. But you said it had to be the size of a fingertip. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot your hands are a wee bit smaller than mine. How about this? I need them the size of a hard candy. You've had those before, haven't you? Uh-huh. One of the soldiers gave me one yesterday. There you go, then. Just fill up the jar with cotton balls that size. I have to say, my job's gotten a lot easier with such a helpful little assistant. Thank you, Angie. <laughs> I wish I could stay here and help you all the time, Sergio. <laughs> I'd be happy for the help. Karen's skilled, but she's better suited to surgical matters. You'd make a fine nurse one day, if you wanted to be one. I guarantee it. I wish I could. Then I could stay with everyone forever. Oh, I'm sure you can. What's got you so uncertain? everyone accounted for them. Thank you for the report. The ship will be back on course soon. Do what you can to help finish resupplying and prepare to embark. So, Squad E made it back in time. Yes, just as expected. But their morale seems low right now. There were some losses suffered in the local resistance group. On the other hand, the team seems more united in their goal than ever before. I'm glad they're on our side, but I'm afraid the key to the rest of this operation is... Oh, that's one of the blocked transmission lines. It's coming from Ship One. We're being hailed by the Cavalier. Put them through, now. Yes, sir. Captain. Interlude, The Witch and the Wolf. Mr. Wallace, the Resistance wanted you to have this medal. Please accept it as a token of their gratitude.
Welcome, Captain Wallace. Let's begin the training course. <laughs> so, who will it be today? Push yourselves! Find that second wind! Nicely done! You're a level higher! Nice work! Your shock troopers have discovered new potential! Marvelous! I believe the Lancers have found new potential! Done for the day? Come back whenever you're ready for more. Okay, let's see. set for the next battle. Onward to victory. You'd better keep up. Lock and load. I'll watch over you. I've got this. My turn. Stop the enemy's advance! Squad E, move out! This is an order. Defensive formation. Brace for enemy attack. Follow my lead. Fall in. 
I got your back. Federation officer. Got it. I will way. not fall here. Found them. Idiots. Their breath gives away their position. Don't stop now. Break through. There. Commencing counterattack. Follow my lead. Let's break through their line. There. No dodging this shot. Yeah, the snow's pretty, but quit staring at it. <laughs> How was that? Great job! Come in, Centurion. Requesting fire support. Sending coordinates now. Take much. All allies have been taken. Enemy base captured. They've taken our base. I got this.
is in order. All soldiers on the defensive. Keep yourselves protected. Onward! I will see you destroyed. There they are. Natural outcome. Oh, oh. They're good. Onward. You really believe yourself my equal? in order. Blast those tanks with everything you've got! Stone Cold Silver! Officer, yes. I will not Lead fall away. here. Let's break through their line. Now, I should have expected as much from you. Watch out! They're on to you. Commencing counterattack. Follow my lead. Cold silver. Fine, I'll get serious. You've been spotted. Watch out! Get out of my head. Nice. They're good. Moving out. Nice shot. For victory! 
How is that? Federation oh, no, Enemy base captured. Taking the enemy base. Mission was a success. I've tracked the Centurion's position to this area. Right where we want them. Uh huh. So how do you plan on taking them down? Our goal is to capture the ship, not capsize it. Capture, capsize. You sure get hung up on details, my man. The snow cruiser is a beautiful piece of work, but it's not like you'll get to keep it. I get why Doc Belgar's taking a scientific interest in it. So what's your horse in this race for, Seti? A promise. A promise? Primaria, I'll have you, Sorty, as well. But know this. Failure is not an option. <sighs> Nor shall disobedience be tolerated. Belgar's orders. Should you repeat the same mistake, you'll be sent back to the research facility. Oh, there. What do you mean by that? The laboratory is demanding we return their Valkyrie. One of its top researchers, Professor Forster, has defected. Since then, our working relationship has been... strained. We've been ignoring their demands thus far. But should you fail to prove yourself useful on the Crystal Sea... Holy shit! <gasps> You really suck at this. Sure, you're an ace when it comes to war, but you don't have a clue how to treat a lady. I beg your pardon? What the hell are you doing, twisting her arm like that before the final showdown? Seriously, what do you and Belgar think Cremaria is? Uh. A weapon. A tool. Nothing more. Look, Forsetti. And you too, Cremaria. We're all comrades in arms, aren't we? What? Comrades? Of course. We live together, fight together. What else would you call that but comrades? So come on. We can afford to act like a team, right? <laughs> I think not. I want nothing to do with it. <sighs> Have it your way, Forsetti. Carry on with your little plan. <laughs> You're nothing but a failure. Just a useless defect. Perhaps I ought to return it to the laboratory. No matter. There's more where it came from. <laughs> Why? I gave them everything. And still they brand me as worthless. Am I truly nothing? What a failure? Selvaria, you are the pride of the Empire. Prove your loyalty to his grace. Show the world your power. <laughs> Help me. Someone, please. Save me. Hey, are you in there? It's that obnoxious man. Ah, 
I hear Fenrir in there. Which means you're in there too, aren't you, princess? I need to speak with you. Coming in, okay? No! Stay out! Whoa now. You okay in there? Are you crying again? I told you to stay out! Fine, my bad. You're right, it's rude to enter a lady's room without permission. Then leave me be. You could wait a millennium and still I wouldn't invite you in. Oh. So I have to stand out here a thousand and one years? Fine by me. You're worth the wait. <sighs> You've been through a lot, haven't you? It must be hard having to tough it out all by your lonesome. Why don't we talk about it and... Leave me alone! Sorry, no can do. What sort of gentleman would I be if I left a damsel in distress? Guess I'll just come back later. <sighs> but you've changed, Kai. This war has changed you. You don't care about peace. All you care about is your own twisted cause. Claude, if you wish to know the truth, then join me. I could tell from our battles how skilled a commander you've become. I'd welcome you with open arms. You think? Wait, goddammit! Kai! Am I intruding? My apologies. Belgar. Uh. <laughs> Goodness gracious, I can hardly keep up with these constant calls from headquarters. Sounds like the army is in quite a state of turmoil. They're withdrawing from the Gallian front as we speak. <laughs> ah, yes. I suppose that would be good news for you, to say nothing of Prince Maximilian falling in battle. After writing off Operation Cygnus as a trifle for so long, headquarters must be reeling. They're assembling all the troops they can muster to defend the capital. That must be why they want it back. I assume they'll be recalling the rest of XO as well. <laughs> the fool. They haven't a clue what creeps ever closer. If only they knew the truth of Operation Cygnus. They'd be throwing everything they have at it. But their ignorance is our opportunity. <laughs> Indeed. I trust you will succeed this time. Yes, sir. Now then, about your roles in the coming operation. Yes, my lord. I would have you rest for now. Leave this one to Forseti. You will allow us to rest? But of course. You two are my trump cards, after all. I can't play my hand this early. You understand, do you not, the role I have given you? Yes, my lord, we do. We are yours to command. I'm glad you're taking so well to your calibrations. It'd be a shame to have to retire such valuable resources. Thank you, Lord Belgar. Thank you, Lord Belgar. Hmm. Hey there, princess. Oh, come on, Fenrir, don't give me that. You and me, we're one and the same. 
Loyal knights sworn to protect our master. That makes us comrades too, right, boy? I don't recall knighting the likes of you. Nice view. You come here often? <sighs> it's nice to have a place to yourself. Growing up, I didn't have anywhere to call home. Sure, I was born into a wealthy house. Problem was, my mother was the maid. Noble indiscretion. Like most bastards, I was neglected, used. One day I'd had enough and I ran away to the slums. It was a real cesspool, a place for the lowest of the low. But at least I was free there. The streets were my true home. I met new people, found friendship, even fell in love. If my mind's in the gutter, it's always gonna be in their gutters. Holding on to that helps me get by. How about you? You got a place like that? No. If I belong anywhere, it's under the knife. Ah, that lab they want to ship you back to. Every day was a new experiment. They'd strap electrodes to my head, apply stimuli, and observe how I'd react. Needle piercing, water torture, sleep deprivation. Cut me apart, put me back together, slice my brain. Easy. I get it. You don't have to relive all that. But that's my true home. I fought so hard to be chosen. But even now, if I fail again, it's back to the lab for more experiments, more torture, until my final sunset. Do you finally see? No one can understand my pain. Leave me. I have nothing more to say to you. Not happening. You think you deserve to be locked up in some loony bin? To hell with that. I'll never let those bastards have you. <sighs> right here's where you belong. And that's final. How dare you? Not in a million years! Not doing it for you? Huh? My pecs are usually a big hit with the ladies. You... Cur! Yeah, you're right. I was a real hound dog. Not anymore. From this day forward, my heart is your home. And yours alone. <sighs> if you want somewhere to belong, Look no further. When you laugh, when you cry, I'll be there. For all of it. <laughs> Fenrir, teach this insolent oaf his place. Ah, come on, boy, we're comrades, remember? <laughs> oh, damn it. Think about what I said, Cremaria. You do have a place where you belong! What a fool. Chapter 14, Azure Flame.